Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey with IGN. Welcome to IGN First. We're covering Golem all month long. It is one of the uh, best things I've seen yet for the PlayStation VR. It's actually the best thing I've seen yet for the PlayStation VR. I am joined by Jamie Griesmer, the co-founder of Highwire Games. Jamie, uh, this is the game. This is it. Yeah, what yeah. This seeing? is uh, this is me playing through the game. Um, what you saw there at the beginning was our sort of calibration process. In Golem, you play as this um, kid who's been injured in an accident, and you actually can't walk anymore. And so you uh, are stuck in your bed, and that's what you saw in that opening right. scene. But you gain the ability to control golems of different sizes. And so right now I'm actually controlling a short, it's like a six inch tall golem. Or a little, well, a little doll, right? Yeah, it's one of her dolls. Um, and so you can see that's actually the character I'm playing in the bed up there. That is, so I'm, I'm, and I'm having an out of body, out of body experience yeah, right now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and I'm exploring her room um, and kind of uh, underneath her house, ultimately. So as we move down onto the floorboard, so I actually got to do this uh, and it's the sensation of being in there, being like, like suddenly first you're 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 in the you're the girl. You can look over the side of the bed, and it's like, oh my god, I feel like I'm in this bed. And then you're this little doll running around, and everything seems enormous. And here we go under the underneath the thing. I mean, you're you're actually this is not a mini game. This is not a tech demo. Like you're making a real sort of story driven AAA caliber game but in VR, which nobody's really done yet. I yeah, think. absolutely. I mean, we're still in the very early stages of VR, but our background kind of as individuals and our hope as a studio at Highwire is to make um, deep games with a lot of um, kind of substance to the, to the gameplay and story, and um, this is going to be a, a single player game, obviously. And so we weren't happy with just um, an experience that lasted five minutes and it was fun, but you kind of didn't come back to it. And that means we've had to push VR quite, quite far. So you were uh, responsible, of course, you, half of your team is our longtime ex Bungie developers mm -hmm. who worked on Halo and then some into Destiny a bit as well. Yeah. So you guys are no strangers to solving sort of control problems, I guess, because you were heavily involved in. Uh, making a first-person shooter fun on a gamepad back in the, the earlier Bungie days. Now you need to make a non-tech demo, non-mini game. You need to make sort of a real game fun to move around in in VR. Yeah, absolutely. Personally, I think one of the things that makes games um, interesting and, and uh, worth investing time in is that sense of exploration. And if you're stuck in one spot or you're confined to a, a small space and you can't freely explore, I think it, you're automatically limiting the scope and kind of um, engagement that you can get with the game. And so we really prioritize solving that movement problem. How do you move through VR? And I think one thing that it's really tough to capture in a video form is the sense of scale yes. that you get from this experience. Um, it can be pretty intense because you um, you know, you're walking around on the floor and it feels, it's just a little girl's bedroom, but it right. feels like it's immense music hall. So as we're moving through tunnels here, it can get a little, yeah, a little, a little gross, a little creepy uh, with the bugs, but you know, you, you have a chance here to do some really interesting environmental storytelling because you are in the story. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, we're gonna kind of leave it to people to draw their own sort of theories about what's, what's happening here. We just kind of want to let it stand on its own. But when you are present in a space and it's full of interesting objects with a sense of history and kind of how did things end up where they are, that's, that's gameplay. That's the kind of engagement that we're going for. And it's worth noting too, our video player is sort of maxed out at 60 frames per second, but it, do the, you know, VR's gotta be like butter, so the game, the game actually runs higher than, than what you folks are seeing on the screen here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, any kind of latency or um, frame rate problems will throw you out of, of, of kind of being at, in the, the space. Um, and so we've had to prioritize running at a high frame rate, but as you can see, I, I, we haven't 
compromised on the graphics. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just, it's still, again, it's tough to convey how, because I did get to experience this, and it's, it's really just something else. What, uh, and, you know, we're not using, this is not a gamepad game. This is, uh, we've, the, the headset and then the move. Yeah, absolutely. So we've kind of developed this new uh, control scheme, which we call the incline controls, which let you fully explore a 3D space using nothing but slightly leaning your head around. Yeah, so, we'll talk more about that later on yeah. as, as the month goes. Um, but yeah, and then part two of this demo, if you, if you come back uh, tomorrow, the, will, the actual combat, I mean, there, there is real combat, there is real gameplay in here and not just walking through this sort of wondrous sense of, of scale and place. There's combat here. Yeah, we wanted to f um, focus for this demo on the exploration aspects. Um, so we actually kind of removed a little bit of the other story and gameplay that happens in these spaces just to focus on moving through them and, and experiencing that way. But absolutely, I mean, our game has, uh, has combat. It has you know, you know, other elements you'd expect. And ha now see, this part here, as so you're walking over this plank over, have you, uh, have you had to wrestle with the idea of, of motion sickness at all in, at, in the VR space? Absolutely. I mean, this section actually gives people vertigo, which yeah. um, is kind of the desired effect. Like, we want people to feel nervous about crossing this thing. Right. But we've done a lot to um, lessen the, the intensity of the reaction that people have. And actually, by leaning around and moving a lot, um, we found that people are less inclined to simulation sickness. Awesome. Well, again, we are going to be covering this all month long on IGN First. We've got so much more on Golem, on Highwire, and what you guys are up to, and why you've chosen VR to do this. So, Jamie, thank you so much. We'll watch the end play out of the sequence here. But for much more on Golem, keep it tuned all month long right here to IGN.